Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Impeccable Premier League Soccer. Uh, football as they call it out there. Three box, full case, pick your team number two. I did one, brand just came out yesterday. I did one uh, yesterday, we pulled some nice stuff out of there, so hopefully this follows that trend. There you go. Soccer's Premier League season is wrapped up. My club, Liverpool, winning the title. Very exciting for me. Very happy about that. I've been following that club for a long time. So Premier League is done. I think the the division below the Premier League might still be wrapping up their playoffs to see who gets promoted. And some clubs got relegated. I think Watford got relegated. I think Aston Villa avoided getting relegated. That's a crazy system they got there. And I think, are they still, I think they're planning to to still knock out the Champions League. So that, that, that should be wrapping up pretty soon too, or starting and wrapping up pretty soon. And then before you know it, they'll start that Premier League season again. Crazy, right? So on the 30th, three box, pick your team two. Man City, City and uh, Tottenham were number block teams right here, actually, if I pull that out like that. And so that was the results of that, which I, uh, which I uploaded already so if you want to see the, the video and the results for that you can check that out there we'll set that aside here we'll put that up here we got basketball on too so all the team sports are, are coming back pretty exciting stuff I like that they give us new blank cards now. Oh, let's actually do this this guy first. All right, we've got Aaron Conley from Brighton. Twenty-five out of fifty. Did Brighton stay up? Let's, let's look. Now I'm curious. So this is all just Premier League teams, anyway. So. They call them tables, by the way, not standings. Yeah, Brighton, Brighton survived. They finished 15th. So it's 18th, 19th, and 20th that are, that are relegated to the division below. So that would be Bournemouth went down, Watford went down, and Norwich went down. All right, so I think it should be one, just one base card in the bottom, yes. We'll use one of those blank cards they gave us to hide the hits a little bit. All right, we got out of 35, Nathan Ake for Bournemouth. I think I feel like Bournemouth, those relegated teams always, this is a yearly thing, they always have a few good players on that team. So when a team gets relegated, all the, the Premier League teams that stay up try to swoop in and snatch like some of the players that are on, on higher salaries and stuff. Joel Linton. 65, so keep an eye on the transfer window for that. That's for Newcastle. You know, so uh, Bournemouth is Shannon, right? The Brighton Hove Albion went to Jared, and the Joel Linton for Newcastle, Carey, with that one. Are these your hits? Yes. For Tottenham, there's Davidson Sanchez, 86 out of 99. So for number blocks, we go by that digit right there, directly to the slash, 86. So we'll go to number six. That will be for Sean Maddock in Tottenham six. We got, oh, we got Joe snagging two cards at once. So we've got James Madison from Leicester City. Three out of 10. Leicester finished fifth, just short of a Champions League spot. I thought they were within striking distance of that Champions League spot, but they'll be in the Europa League, which is like the second division Champions League. A lot of divisions. There's Leicester. And it goes to I Capola with Leicester City. And we've got Sean Wright Phillips. I think he played here in the States for a little bit too. 88 out of 99. Canvas Creations on card autograph. Sean Wright Phillips. Eastwood with City 8. There you go, Jared Phillips, you're right. Manchester City. 
was dinged real hard by UEFA, the governing body for European football, right? They got dinged by them for financial fair play, I think. And um, they were banned. They were banned from Champions League play for, for like two years. But they appealed, and it got rescinded. Like, they weren't even punished at all for their discretions. There's Peter Check. Nice. 40 out of 49. Peter Check for Arsenal. David Edelstein with that. Think they wrote a big check, Jared Phillips? Yeah, probably. Something bribed. Well, Pep Guardiola looked real smug after after they were vindicated, right? And he was real smug, so I don't know what happened there. But, you know, soccer is kind of shady. Um, if you guys remember Harry Potter, why, uh, why Ron Weasley wore that little helmet when he was Quidditch keeper? Based off of Peter Check. There you go. Some trivia. Uh, Arsenal, once again, David Ellison. On this side, we got, wow, nice, Deli Alley. Two-color patch and autograph. One, no, check that, eight out of ten, Eastwood with that one. There you go, Eastwood. Nice. Great player for Tottenham, England man as well. England could be creeping into another generation of good... Uh... Man, we would have had Euros this summer if it wasn't for stupid COVID-19. We would have had Euros. We'll save this for last. That's the case hit. Instead, it's postponed till next summer. The Euros are pretty much like the World Cup minus the South American and Asian and African teams. So you got all the major European clubs in one big tournament. It would have been nice. I was looking forward to that. I would love to see some gold in there, Brad. I want the gold. Give me the gold. I want to know where the gold's at. There's Ryan Fraser, 22 out of 35 for Bournemouth. Shannon. And we got Andre Yarmolenko to 65 for Westham. Hammers finished uh, just out of that relegation zone. They, they, they were 16th. Actually, five points off relegation, they were all right. And we got Jamie Vardy. Nice. Ooh, 10 out of 10. Ooh, look at that. Bit of the Premier League lion right there. That's pretty cool. Nice one for Leicester. That is for Ike Apollo. Remember, uh, remember when Leicester won the Premier League title? Jamie Vardy was a big reason why. Big reason why they had a good season this year, too. Let's get some more top loaders here. Yeah, Brad, if I, if I pull a gold out of that case hit, I'll definitely yell gold like soccer announcers say gold. All right, let's see what this redemption is all about. Will it be Tottenham or Man City? If so, that'll go to Joe Fagundes. Otherwise, it'll go to whoever got their team straight up. We got Elegance Rookie Patch Autograph Silver. Not sure where that's number two, but card ten. Nice ten, good, good, good striker number. M, Matisse Tybel. No, I'm kidding. O, N. We got Morgan, Morgan Gibbs White. I have no idea where Morgan Gibbs White goes. Morgan Gibbs White is a Wolverhampton Wander. 
Ooh, also part of the England under 16s through under 21s. There you go. Wolves. Attacking midfielder for the Wolves. Number 17. There you go. What how did he how did he do this season? I don't think he played very much this season. No, just seven appearances, one FA Cup appearance, one League Cup appearance. Uh, Carrie with Wolverhampton. Is he solid, David? Yeah, maybe a good investment card. I'm sure they started, I think, if I remember correctly, I don't think they designated rookies in the past. At least Panini hadn't. But now they're starting to designate rookies, so I think that's going to help a lot in terms of collecting, in terms of the hobby. There's Tim Howard. Nice. 78 out of 99. All-time legend for Everton, which are my rivals. Josh Proust with Everton. But also an all-time legend for, for the United States, for us. There you go. Excellent keeper there. A couple more here. We've got another Everton player. Indelible ink, Theo Walcott, former Arsenal man, 50 out of 99. Wow, there's Robert Runkle. Happy Thursday to you too. Last night was my first break ever not watching live, and he ends up with the that one of one Virgil Van Dyke from yesterday. Woo! That was hot with the New Balance logo. It's on the Instagram at Jaspie's Breaks. And we got Patrick Vieira for Arsenal. David Elsie, 57 out of 99. Nice. Immortal Inc. for David. Wow, congrats to you, Robert. Now, I, I know soccer in general sells pretty well in the secondary market, but I mean, what, I, I, don't, I don't know what that could possibly go for. I need that remote control. Not in the trench. Um, yeah, I mean, he just won a title. I think he's widely considered to be the best center back in the world at the moment right now. And at least for the next for the last couple of years, you know, a lot of Player of the Year consideration, all sorts of stuff. So, so yeah, and everyone can point to him and probably the new goalkeeper for for Liverpool, Allison, who came on board. As they credit them, there's Chris Wood for Burnley for turning for. Saul really solidifying the Liverpool defense. Liverpool could always score. Never a problem for them. But. All right. Um, Burnley. Benny with Burnley. I always say that you got to have a good spine in a, in a soccer team, right? So if you're playing a classic 4-4, four, four, classic 4-4-2, four, four, they say you want a good spine up there. You want... You want a good goalkeeper, you want a good center back, a good midfielder, good striker, if you got a good spine. That's the construction of a good team. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Plus the case hit sitting back here. All right, we got Anwar El Ghazi, 20 out of 20 for... I almost said Weston. They have very similar colors. For Aston Villa, Andrew with Aston Villa. Villa barely staying up. They made it, though. Much to the chagrin of their in-city rivals, Birmingham. I think we're still trying to make their way back into the back into the Premier League, right? What about, where's the... Not sure what's going on with... With the uh, the next division down, who's going to get promoted? I don't know if, I don't know if that season's been solved yet. 65-65, Matt Ryan for Brighton. I think Leeds is automatically up, right? They they won the English league. Oh, the semis were on today. Okay. I keep trying. To, ooh, wow, a one of one Cristiano Ronaldo. In his Manchester United gear for Mark Bissett. Woo!
God, I hated him. In that man, I'm a Liverpool supporter. I hated this guy so much, but I can respect the massiveness of this hit. He's still he's still playing pretty well these days, man. That is nice. There you go. Man United, Mark Bissett. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. We've got personal box of these on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. There's Diego Costa. Two-color jersey and autograph for Chelsea. It'll be for Mark Bissett as well. Wow, Mark. What a break for you. He got, the, he got Man United straight up. I know, yesterday, David, I pulled that Virgil van Dijk one of one, and this tonight, the CR7. 49 out of 99, indelible ink, Dean Henderson for Sheffield United. Sheffield had a great season this year. I don't think anyone expected that from Sheffield United this season. Shannon with that one. And you know what? The, this goalkeeper is the big reason why Sheffield had such a great season. They could get some goal scorers. We've got Kyle Walker for Man City. 16 out of 35. City 6, Sean Maddock. And the last one, oh, it's just a dual relic. Mesut Ozil, 68 out of 99. Are him and Enos Cantor still at odds? David with Arsenal, with the Gunners. All right. Let's see what we got here. Good luck, everyone. It's silver, not gold. It's going to be for Newcastle. Sean Longstaff. 13 out of 25. Some fine, fine silver. Ooh, I, I love that lion right there, too. In embossed, engraved in that, however you say it, in that in that world. And there you go, boys and girls. Another great break of impeccable soccer, in, impeccable Premier League soccer in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll have more. Jason has some right now, at jazbeesbreaks on Instagram. Check it out. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.